we're gonna be taking a look at the spring fever or SF refills as we are calling them now which I'm very happy about because mm, never was too happy about the name spring fever but people loved it they love the ink it's a great value uh, works really good in different types of mops you can mix it with your dye based inks after a long time we <laughs> finally came out with some refills, which I'm very happy to show you guys. Uh, you know, all the popular colors, like the violet, the blue, the aqua, the poison green, which everyone loves the poison green, you know, white, black, orange, red, pink, yada, yada, yada. Available in a nice eight ounce bottle. I think it's eight ounces, right? Yep. American, American sizing, eight ounces. <laughs> eight ounces of love, baby. So these inks can be intermixed, you know, so say you got a mop right here. And uh, we'll just start mixing some stuff up because it's fun to do. One thing I do want to mention is before you shake this, make sure your cap is on tight. Because <clears throat> I made that mistake in the office. See, these are very nice, self-contained, easy pour caps. For even, even someone as dumb as me can fill them off without spilling. So we shall see. But one thing, that <laughs> I am so dumb that I left this undone. And if you go to shake it... Uh, as you can see, you will get a little bit of discharge. So be careful with that. Make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a little shaky, a little razzle-dazzle, if you will. Let's fill up the mop here. So we're going to start with some white. And, uh, you know, we're going to show some of the regular colors too, but I just figured right off the bat, I'll show you guys exactly what you can do with these inks because uh, maybe it'll inspire you guys to go out and try something different. Let's add some blue to this bad boy. Add a little bit of blue in there. All right, so we kind of got like a little uh, a little baby blue coming, right? A little baby blue, don't forget to close it. Maybe I'm gonna throw a little wild card in there. Why don't we add a little bit of yellow? A little bit of mellow yellow to this bad boy. Now what this will allow us to do is just to make our own custom color combinations. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I basically had about a third white, a dash of yellow and a dash of blue. So it's gonna be kind of like a light teal or something like that would be my guess. Somewhere in that realm, we shall see. All right, sick. So we went ahead and got that all mixed up in there. Like I said, these inks, you can mix them, do all kinds of different things with them. And uh, there might be a little residual yellow on the top there. Ooh, am I too close? There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful shade of teal right there. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. See how it writes on this messed up dumpster. There's so much crap on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Little test tag. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, guys. You guys see that right there? Hopefully the color's coming out really good and it's not overexposing from the black. There you guys go, man. Real, real beautiful stuff here. Let's rock, rock a little seven here. You guys know I love those sevens. Just so you guys can see how it looks here. So as you guys can see, when you're mixing these inks, you can do all kinds of different color combinations. Uh, it's non-xylene formula, but you can still get lots of really nice drips from them. Um, I don't think you guys will be missing out on much with these. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, is my mouth right next to the mic? Am I just blowing it out? I do love myself some xylene. I do. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you want something that's not going to completely eat your mop sometimes. And this is a really good way to go. And as you guys can see, you get some really nice drips with it. Uh, I don't think you guys would have any issues whatsoever. You know, very durable outdoors. We'll write on a variety of surfaces. And of course, hand in glove with the drip mop, the Art Primo drip mop. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. So there you go. I've already mixed some colors together and we've already started a video. Now let's go ahead and just rock some straight colors straight out of the mop. I wonder if I can do this while I'm holding it. I feel like it's more like you're in the zone. Oh, there we go, sweet relief. Okay, sick. So let's do a dark color, right? Since we got the, uh, the light color on the black, let's do a dark color on the white side of the dumpster. Get the black side and the white side. All right, let's see if I can pour this without making a mess. Woo! What's up, poor guys? Should I zoom in for you? There we go. Let's get nice and tight here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some red in this bad boy. Ooh, I'm already making a mess here. Now, one thing I would recommend when you're pouring this, hold it at an angle like this, right? See how I'm kind of holding it at an angle? If you hold it like this, you may run the risk of like a little piece of pigment getting stuck in there, which is no big deal. It'll eventually flow through. And it's, I seem to have mixed this together quite well anyway, so we're good. Uh, but when you do it like this way, it seems to come out a little bit easier. In the off chance that you get a little, you know, a little, uh, little chunker in there. Oh wait, I'm not even focusing on that. Sorry guys, cinema verite. 
All right, sick. So we got that bad boy in there. Where's that nib at? Oh, there it is. Oh, you guys gotta check these out, man. We got these little metal containers. We'll talk about that later. I think we're in focus right here, right? There we go. Oh yeah. All right, guys, so that is the red. And as you guys can see, it's a very rich, deep shade of red, like a bright cherry red is what I would say. Uh, let's check it out while I hold it here. Nice. Uh, okay, let's do a little GR tag. Probably not my best, but that's all right. A little happy face. All right, as you guys can see, the red goes down really nice. Very solid shade of red. I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right, let's go ahead and grab another rando color. How about this perp? This is the, uh, what's it called? It's just, it just says purple, but I think this is a custom mix that we made. Uh, it, it's not available in the refill, I don't think. I don't know what this is, because that's not purple, right? That's a different color. So we'll keep this out of the video, because I really don't know what it is. Um, all right, then. Okay, I'll tag with it. Just tag with it, GR. You have it right there. You're right, you're right. Uh, we'll just call it the Grimace color. Uh, in, in, in honor of Grimace's birthday, I guess uh, McDonald's is doing a promo on that. Ooh, what is this? Extra drippy. Although I am giving it a real, real solid squeeze right there. Um, it's really flowing. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, so this is available in our pre-filled mops. It's the same ink formula. I just don't remember the name of the color. And you guys expected me to remember everything, but it's just not gonna happen, bros. It's just not gonna happen. I can't remember everything. Nice little poet tag right there. Look, that Slimer is still, <laughs> holy crap. That's still chilling right there. Can I even write over it? Oh, that's hilarious. Wow, that's such a dope color. I honestly don't remember what the name of it is, guys. Sorry. But it looks cool to me. Wow, that's a nice color. It's like a purple blue, right? Ooh, look at those drips on the ground. I'm gonna get in trouble. Just wait till mom comes home, kids. Don't forget to not write on your mom's couch. Uh, don't forget to write, <laughs> wait, what am I saying? Don't forget to not write on your mom's couch. There we go. All right, sick. So we've looked at a few colors right here so far. Of course, my custom mix that I tried out, which I think came out really nice. Uh, why don't we tag on that? Why don't we tag on that? What should we use? Uh, should we try this yellow? Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too crazy. All right. Yeah, that's looking good, bros. That's looking real good. All right, so this is our golden yellow, uh, also available as the Liamop, which, do I have one out right now? Uh, forgive me, guys. Oh, here it is. All right, sick. So yeah, we got these Liamops in stock. It is the same color as this golden yellow, so if you just want the yellow, you can go ahead and get the yellow mop. Uh, but these are limited edition custom artist series, which I think look really cool. You know, it's got our logo on it. It's got Lias Throwy. Looks like a little Hello My Name is sticker. Uh, what I would recommend doing if you have one of these is just empty the ink out into another mop. And what you want to do is just kind of coat the inside of the mop so it stays the color yellow and let it dry like that. And uh, yeah, you have a nice little collector's item. Real cool. Or you can just go tag with it, you know. It's your marker. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, maybe you're going to hold on to it and then, you know, have a few drinks and you're like, ah, screw it. I'll just tag with it. <laughs> I've been there. I have been there. Uh, okay, so this is the golden yellow. Hopefully nothing else bleeds through because this dumpster has so much dye ink on it. But uh, no, it's holding up all right. All right, there we go. I think that worked pretty well. Normally we use bleeders on here and surprisingly I'm not getting a lot of bleed through so thankfully uh, we're gonna survive that one but I can see some bleeder right here so we'll see what happens. Oh, it's called you gotta squeeze the marker bro. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. All right sick. Oh yeah look at that we got some colors bleeding through already that purple 
that's underneath there. That, that garbage can is done. All right, guys, let me show you one more thing here really quick because this is a alcohol compatible ink. So let's go ahead and uh, fill this bad boy really quick. Hopefully that's in focus. I'm rolling solo right now, so sometimes I make little mistakes. Apologize if I do, uh, but just roll with me, guys. Roll with me. Okay, so we got some Steve Garvey in there. Let's go ahead and put some white. Let's drop some white in this bad boy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, see it? There you go. Make sure you have that open properly. There we go. Oh, uh, spoke too soon. All right, guys, that's okay. That's all right. It'll work fine. It'll work fine. You know, graffiti's messy. No matter what you do, you're going to make a mess anyway, so don't tag in your crispies, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's go ahead and... Sh oh, my God, look at this. Look at my shame. Look at this. I got it all over here. Good grief. What's wrong with you, GR? All right, sick. So we've made a nice, uh, lovely shade of purple here. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, sick. Let's go ahead and get that nib going, boys. All right, all right. Very nice. Should be in focus. Oh, yeah, look at that perp. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick tag here real quick. Oh, blowout city. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I am really shaking it right now. Obviously, the dye ink will, uh, will definitely increase your uh, flow factor. That is for sure. Look at those drips. Oh, that's beautiful. That is that is just a thing of beauty. Let's do another last seven here. I actually have to try to squeeze less so I don't get a total blowout. You know, you want it to be still legible. But man, look at that. Let's let this dry, then I'll hit it with the buff. You guys can see what I'm talking about here. <laughs> oh my God, that is, wow. That is beautiful. So yeah, that's the Steve Garvey mixed with the white. All right, sick, let's go ahead and check it real quick. I don't think it's 100% dry, but it should be dry enough to just do a basic buff test real quick. As you guys can see, that perp is looking beautiful. Uh, we're gonna be using some Molotov Signal White. Uh, get it in the frame, homie, Signal White. Test the cap. This is a Lego, by the way. One of our favorite caps of all time. Uh, let's go, baby. Ooh, nice. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it just powers right through like nothing. Yeah, you could do an extra coat. Why not? As you guys can see, the Steve Garvey gives you a little bit more push, a little pushing for the cushion, if you will, uh, goes right through there. It's gonna take a few coats, although if you take some silver, drop some silver right over that, then put your paint over it, you should be able to go over that dye pretty good, but the buffer doesn't know that, so don't tell him. All right, guys, it's been about a week. We've let this kind of marinate on here, and I think we're ready to do the next buff test. This is a great little addition to this project because what it does is simulates something that's been buffed and bled through, and then the buff man comes around a couple days later and goes, what the heck? Let's get back to work. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm using some Molotow Premium. Will it bleed through again? Oh, I'm using a Lego cap, by the way, our favorite cap here. But they're all my favorite caps. All right, so as you can see, we're still getting penetration. <laughs> he said penetration. Uh, <laughs> let that sit for a second there. I mean, still, like I said, good penetration. We're still getting a bleed through. Uh, let that, oh, I missed a spot, didn't I? Nice. Again, again, we get we got the bleed through, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a shot. Uh, you know, this kind of like extra bonus footage for you guys, but I know you appreciate this kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and hit it again. Uh, and as expected, it is starting to kind of take it out a little bit, but I don't know, I still see a shadow flowing through there. So I think we'll go ahead and leave it at this. It would suffice to say that you're gonna get some very good bleed through with this, no matter what you're doing. You're definitely gonna make the buff man work real hard for this. Oh yeah, look at it right there. It's already starting to pound through like that. Beautiful stuff. All right guys, so let's go ahead and go out to the closeout. I'll see you guys in a second. Where is it at right here? Steve Garvey mixes really good with the Spring Fever ink, any color really, but we used white to make that nice perp. Uh, but they're fully compatible. You could use regular Garvey as well too, if you can find it, uh, which you probably won't. <laughs> very hard to find these days uh, but you know bottom line you can mix uh, you know sole tip paint with this probably actually I haven't tried that yet 
but I'm 99% positive it will mix. So I think we'll have to check that out in a future video or whatever else you want me to mix with this stuff because um, <clears throat> I'm happy to showcase all this stuff for you guys. You know, if you're like, hey, GR, grab something from the back. I want to see this or that. Just comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, or if you have any other questions about the ink, mops, things like that, comment below. I try to be in the comments section at least for like a half an hour after a video launches. So that's usually a good time to get with me. Or if you have a hit off request, you can comment below as well too. Um, we were going to talk about uh, your comments on the recent video, or actually my recent video, not the Laya one. Not that we don't want to look at the live video, of course. You better watch the live video. I worked very hard on that. And it's only one minute. I thought it was a very efficient edit, if you don't mind my saying that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I do have to get out of here because that iced coffee is working its way through my digestive system. And uh, <laughs> I think we're about to have a four alarm fire here. So uh, thank you very much, guys. Love you. Stay in touch, comment below. Um, let me know what else you wanna see in the future. And also, be your own grandpa. See you later.